all an interesting problem include the friction as well as the distribution of forces through the rod and here is the problem the problem states that there are two blocks of 6 kg I am not going to read the statement In, instead of that I am going to explain the problem so it will be more clear to you and the problem states that there are two blocks block A and block C of mass 6 kg are placed on two surface one is a flat surface another one is an inclined surface having an angle 30 degree and the coefficient of friction between the block and the ground is 0 0.5 at both the places the two blocks are connected through the link let this A, B and C are the two links so A, B and B, C are the link having pin joint at all the positions so the joint A, joint B and joint C are the pin joint and the system is configured in this position and we are applying a force P at joint B now the question is that what should be the minimum value of P to disturb the equilibrium what is happening actually that when I the, currently the system is in as it is given in the question that means this is the configuration we are having and we are applying a force P at this point so now if I will increase the P value from 0 what will happen at certain point either the block A or the block C will move or both the block will move simultaneously and the dis it will disturb the equilibrium so now I have to calculate that if I will increase the P value which block will first move so now I or it is not given in the question that the which block they are asking that what is the minimum value of P so now we have to think that whether the block C will move first or block A will move first and to solve that let's make the free body diagram of the complete system here I am showing the free body diagram of complete system so you can understand that this is my point B so I am making the free body diagram of point P which is having three forces one is the force P two forces which are coming because of these two link and I am putting this force direction towards the point and why I am doing so because if I will imagine that the P force is basically going to transmit in these two rods so P will act in the downward direction that will basically try to push the rod in this direction similarly it will try to push the rod in the other direction so the forces in the rods will be force in this way so if I will split the two part and I will consider this point so what will happen that the rod will having a push in this direction so the rod will apply a force on the point in this direction so now if I am having a point which is having three forces F1, F2 and P and the angle for F1 if I will write increase this the angle is given as 30 degree when I will make the free body diagram of this rod which is AB rod suppose this is my AB rod the force is acting in a compressive manner but it is an axial the, the force will be on the axial direction because it's a, it is a single degree of a single one dimensional component so this is F2 so another other direction will be F2 and this force basically go and act on the block so the force will be in this way so if I will see this half there are forces F2 which is acting in the rod and ultimately this F2 is going to act on the block in this fashion similarly when I see the other part this is the F1 force the opposite of the F1 then opposite of the F1 and then opposite of the F1 which will act on the block resting on the inclined surface now this is the force which is basically coming because of the P if I will see other forces there is a gravitational force of magnitude mg in the downward direction and there will be a reacting force from the ground similarly if I will see the block on the inclined plane I know that there will be two forces one is the mg sin theta which is acting along the plane and the mg cos theta which is acting perpendicular to the plane and there will be a normal reaction which is going to be balanced by the forces acting in this direction and this will be the other force now the question arises that what would be the direction of friction for these two blocks so let understand that what will happen that there may be two cases one case is that the frictional grip of block A is stronger than the block C so what will happen when I will apply the force P this block will not move instead of that the block C will move and block C will move in this direction that means the direction of friction between the block C and the ground will be opposite to the motion of C so the direction of friction here will be in this way similarly 
if the grip of C and ground is stronger in that case when I will apply the force P the block A will move in this direction so, so the direction of friction on the ground will be this way so direction of friction here will be this so, and the magnitude of this frictional force can be write as N1 mu of this value so let's mu, mu1 and the frictional force here will be that N2 mu2 so now I am making again two free body diagrams or the free body diagram now in this case what will happen let's try to solve the problem of using this part so what will happen first I will resolve the forces at point P so this is my force P and these are these are the force F1 and F2 when I will make the equilibrium of point this point and I will write the horizontal and vertical forces I am getting this equation this is the equation for the vertical force balance that will be P in the downward direction which is which is going to be balanced by F1 sine 30 degree this is my equation 1 similarly when I am going to balance the horizontal forces that F2 cos 30 will be balanced by F1 and if I will put this value here I am getting a relation between the F1 and P which is that P cos 30 by sin 30 is defined by F1 however the P by sin 30 is F2. So now I have relation for P two relations for P basically the if I am applying a force P then if I am able to calculate the F2 then F2 sin 30 will give me uh, an answer of P. Similarly if I will calculate the F1 first I will get an answer in terms of this equation. Now it is up to us that for, for, from which we start and we have to understand that so let's start the problem for this block first. So this is the free body diagram of the block where the downward force is 6G and this is the F2 force this is the normal reaction and this is the frictional force. When I am going to solve this using the horizontal and vertical force balance I am getting that the F2 is coming out 48.69 using this free body diagram for this block and when I am putting this F2 in this equation I am getting that P is coming out 24.34 Newton now do I have to complete the problem that the 24 is the answer or I have to think more yes you have to think more because if you are going to rely on this answer may be possible that the whenever you will calculate the answer using this free body diagram less than this value in that case if the answer coming out using this free body diagram is lesser than this value that means that will be the correct answer because what will happen if suppose the answer coming using this free body diagram is 19 Newton suppose this is not the correct value but suppose it is 19 Newton so what will happen if I will increase the pressure P from 0 value when the value will reach to 19 the block C will move and the block A will remain on its position so that equilibrium will disturb at value 19 on the other end if the answer is more than 24.34 then definitely when the value will reach to 24 the block A will move and the equilibrium will disturb but we cannot say by solving the half problem we have to solve the problem completely that means we have to solve the second free body diagram which is the free body diagram of this block so here is the free body diagram of second block if you see here this is the second free diagram and here is the free body diagram of second block here we are having the forces this is the direction of friction which I have already explained here what I will do I will consider that these are the my reference coordinate this is my uh, x coordinate this is my y coordinate instead of using the horizontal and vertical direction which we can this consider conventionally here what I am doing I am assuming that the inclined one are my reference coordinate so this is my x coordinate and this is my y coordinate now I am going to balance the forces along the y direction and also along the x direction so here are the equations and when I am solving this equation I am getting that my f1 which is the force in the rod in this rod the force is f1 here is coming out 90 Newton and when I am putting this 90 Newton in this equation which I have already solved using the equilibrium of this point so I am getting that the P is coming out 52 Newton so now I can say that this is the condition and if the equilibrium will break here the force value should be 52 Newton on the other end if the equilibrium will break here the value would be 24.34 Newton so definitely this is the correct value that means when the P will reach to 24.34 Newton it will disturb the equilibrium. Thank you.